Today, the World Health Organization raised its coronavirus threat assessment to very high. We know the virus has slipped past the efforts to contain it here in California. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is getting answers for us tonight about who's responsible, Marissa, for the quarantine practices here. Yeah, super interesting to learn about today. And in, in, in that Solano County case, that woman who was diagnosed went days without being tested. And tonight we're learning the county is responsible for finding every person she came into contact with during that time. We're told that job is nearly impossible. A Solano County woman went undiagnosed for days. Now a team of public health professionals called disease control investigators are tasked with a big job. Who's responsible for tracking down the people who come into contact with an infected patient? The responsibility for public health resides at the local level. So it's the county. We spoke with Dr. Jeffrey Klausner, a professor at UCLA who formerly worked at the San Francisco County Department of Health and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. He's an expert in the field of infectious disease. He says the team will engage in what's called contact tracing, interviewing family members and trying the impossible task of finding anyone who came within six feet of this infected patient. So you try to develop a list of all these contacts with their names, with their phone numbers, and then you begin the laborious process of uh, trying to contact them. He says getting 100% of the people who made contact is impossible. And once contact is made, that same team will decide if they need to engage in quarantine protocol. Public health experts say you should be skeptical of how efficient quarantine really is, especially for these respiratory diseases. The really evidence that it is beneficial is actually uh, quite limited. Yeah, and on top of this, the CDC also sending 10 staffers to help trace this woman's contact. Now, Dr. Klausner says the county can legally force quarantine on people. The state actually gives police and the county pretty broad authority to quarantine anyone if it is in the interest of public safety. And tonight we're learning that's the case here. Yeah, a lot of moving parts, that's for sure, to all of this. Marissa, thanks.